Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Well, everyone on earth, if you can hear me with all my heart. Hi. Praise Jesus. A man doesn't get the glory. Jesus gets the glory. Well, God gets the glory. And Jesus gets the glory when he is God. But he, he prefers to just do to, to do what his father says instead of his own selfish stuff. That's why he didn't even sin at all when he was on earth. Jesus. And he's going to be king and reign in power and glory. He suffered already and now he's going to reign in power and glory when he comes to earth. Jesus as king. So it's pretty amazing. He suffered for all of us because his father wanted us to be okay. So he sent his son to suffer worse than any of us had while, while on earth. To have more difficulty on earth. And then the ones of us who, then the bad people who choose to not, um, be good, who are unrighteous, they'll spend an eternity in hell learning to repent and feel sorry for what they did and miss Jesus with, with the love taken away from them, like the outer darkness. Some of them, when they burn up, their ashes go into the heavens and they remember all the all the um, love they had of Jesus and they miss Jesus and God and their suffering goes into that into the um, heavens for all eternity and in the outer darkness probably from what the Bible says and then um, so I'm gonna write a new screenplay and then they die and then time ends time ends from the mystery that I found in the Bible the mystery that I found in the Bible I'll look it up Mystery in the Bible. Mystery in the Bible. Not all of us will sleep, but all of us will be changed. Meaning every last one of us, God and Jesus saved. Jesus saved because he loved humans so much. He didn't want us to die. So after they spend an eternity in hell, which could be 400 years, however long forever is when time ends, and then they'll die the second death, and then in a twinkling of an eye, they'll be changed too. So every last one of us will make it to heaven because God is really that good. God is really that good. And that's the mystery in the Bible. Corinthians... I'm going to put that into the screenplay. Whoops. Corinthians 15, 51 to 53. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, meaning we will not all die before judgment day, because some of us will keep living through the awful tribulation. It's going to be so bad. It's going to suck. But we have Jesus, and everything will be okay when we have Jesus. We trust in Jesus, because Jesus will make it so it's not that bad. When you love Jesus... I mean, it might be pretty difficult, and you might give up and say this is awful or something. But Jesus will make everything okay, and Jesus made God made everything okay in the end, so it'll always be okay. We all made it to heaven. Jesus' last words on the cross were, "It is finished," meaning the sin will be destroyed and finished, and and humankind is saved. So every last one of us will make it. Some of us will have to go to hell to learn, and it'll be like way worse than anything we can imagine, way worse than Jesus had it on earth. And it'll be like really bad. So you want to make it in this lifetime to um, when, you, when you die or, or make it to um, heaven on Judgment Day if you're still alive whenever Judgment Day happens. We don't know. It could be any day now. It's supposed to be any day. But it could be that could mean a thousand years or two thousand years or, or or any day now. So um, we shall all be changed. We shall all be changed, meaning we'll all stop sin. We'll all stop sinning. We won't sin anymore, and we'll be kind and good, kind to others, forgive others, and godly and Jesus-like, and everyone will be good, and all the bad stuff that caused everything bad—the sin, the devil—will all be burned up in the lake of fire forever until every last one of them, even the devil, 
will be so destroyed he'll die the second death he may sp spend uh, billions or trillions of years in torment and the most suffering and unrest imaginable ever until he misses God so much he wants to be back with God and he repents and, and, and makes up for everything he did bad and even he, he'll make it to heaven but now he's an it he doesn't act like his real soul he's so distorted and and weird from how he was the devil he caused everything bad it's really stupid because it hurts himself it it hurts ourselves to sin and it hurts others it's really stupid so we'll have much better lives when we don't sin and we won't suffer as bad as jesus if we don't sin because jesus didn't sin at all and um he had to suffer he had to suffer because they killed him their sin killed him and he suffered so we'd be okay so we won't have it as bad as Jesus on earth. And we're much better to go with God and Jesus. It'll be way okay. And he'll make it so we can only go through as much as we're able to go through. It won't be that bad. It's better than if you go to the devil. It'll be like really bad. Who knows how bad to be able to come back from that. So um, um, that would be in hell. So um, we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. That means when we die, for those of us who die, maybe all of us on earth today and then the next generation maybe will live until the tribulation and some of them um, will die and then we'll sleep. When we die, we sleep. It says in the Bible in another passage, we, in another thing in the Bible, we sleep because the Bible is the truth. It's reality. Once you, ha once you understand what's in the Bible, you know how to live and you don't make the same mistakes and everything's okay and better but um uh so when you have jesus and god so so when we die we'll sleep probably unless you live to judgment day unless you live to judgment day and then make it to heaven then you will not have to die but uh it's it's not easy with this sin on earth so um we'll sleep when we, people will die and then they'll sleep it's like they see nothing but black. They don't remember any of it. And they sleep until the all await judgment day. And then we'll all be judged on judgment day. And it feels like a twinkling of an eye from when people die to when they're judged on judgment day. At the last tr trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound at the last trump. The last trump, uh, that's the American Standard Version. There are different versions. It could mean trump like uh, his... Uh, offspring or something like that I don't know what the last trump means um, the, for the trumpet shall sound so that means I don't know the trumpets will sound it's it's really beautiful and good in heaven when the trumpets sound on earth when heaven's brought to earth but it's still earth I think when the trumpets sound and uh, the dead shall be raised yeah it's still earth it's not heaven yet the dead shall be raised incorruptible oh so they're they're changed. They're good. They're they're good forever. You know, that good and bad has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with politics. It's good and bad. God is good. God created everything good. The devil created everything bad. All the bad will be burned up in the lake of fire. And we'll all be changed. So we'll all make it to be with God and Jesus forever. All the love comes from God and Jesus, but I, I probably lusted. A little bit so I, I had some anxiety about that love is not sex but we're supposed to many of us are supposed to be with a husband or wife and then it's normal and it's not as sinful but still it can be looked at as unclean if you lusted or even had sex with your wife or something like that it can be it can cause like anxiety if you thought of anything like that so um it can mean you're unclean until like it says in the Bible when, so you don't, so you know where the anxiety comes. So you know, you may know where the anxiety comes from, because like if you lusted after a woman, or something like that, or, or had sex with your wife, you may be considered unclean until the next day or that night or something like that. And it says in the Bible, and you can look up like if you accidentally touched a fly or something that made you feel like anxiety and, and, and um, unclean and like you had to keep washing and it weren't clean it's because some of the animals are unclean even an eagle is unclean but it's a it's a, a creature created it's a beast create it's a creature created by god by god an eagle is created by god so um all creatures on earth are created by god and i think they make it to heaven too but um dogs are kind of looked 
looked at as like you're not supposed to trust them because they can if you give them anything holy they'll they'll trample it or eat it and uh, turn to attack sometimes and but but they make it to have supposedly they're supposed to make it to heaven too i think but it doesn't really say in the bible but i think all creatures are saved too every last soul who god created he can't he can't uh he wouldn't want to get rid of them and we've all supposed to be been here since the beginning of time <clears throat> Uh, not the beginning of time, from, from the beginning. When when God started the beginning. Before that, He always existed. There was no time. But when time started, when He started time, um, we He created us. But before that, God has always existed. There was no time and everything. Especially, kind of go back to that when we're all in heaven and everything's good and kind and there's no more sin or bad that the stupid devil created that was a stupid idea that he thought he, he, he'd get to feel better and it just hurt himself it's going to hurt himself for all eternity and stuff and it caused all this suffering and all the bad crap and that all will be burned up all this stuff that caused everything bad will be burned up and we'll be changed and we'll be really good but on earth we can be without sin now um, it's not going to last our entire lives the only one without sin his entire life was Jesus so after saying all this like this is a good video so far uh, I didn't write the screenplay I didn't write the screenplay, but um, I was going to write a new screenplay, and after all I just said, it was a, it was preaching the gospel of Jesus. Um, I don't know if I have the energy to write a screenplay right now, because <laughs> I just I made this video talking about all this uh, Jesus stuff. I was going to write a screenplay, and instead I talked about the Bible, which is the most beautiful written book written book or uh, writing ever and good not physically beautiful that's the problem is that uh, beauty can mean uh, lust or something like physical beauty because the devil is the most beautiful one that's awful the most physically beautiful but God is really the most beautiful he he um, not just in the way somebody looks but his soul is good and beautiful but um, on the sinful earth beauty can mean uh, like something bad like if you like lust after the way something looks like an object instead of uh instead of uh so it'll so all the stuff of this earth will be gone in the twinkling of an eye and everything will burn up in the lake of fire all our stuff everything on earth every last thing on earth because it has some it has sin in it, so it has to be destroyed because it can't make it into heaven. There can be no sin in heaven, and and we'll all be changed, whether or not we have to die to get to heaven. And then um, we'll be without sin, and everything will be good. There'll literally everything will be good. But, you know, we're alive right now. We may have to live another 40 years with stupid crap happening that we don't like, kind of. But it, it may be okay, too. It, we could have a good life. But it's not going to be as good as like how good it'll be um, when everything's changed, and everything will be changed, so it'll always be okay. But uh, right now, we may have to like suffer and go through like uh, difficulty, or who, who knows what. You know, it's like not easy. And uh, <clears throat> but I don't, I don't know. But I've had it way pretty bad, and it's not just your physical health. Some people are so focused on. Some people think that that's. The caught that that is what everything's about, and they don't understand that people suffer way worse who ha who are in good physical shape. They're athletic, and they suffer with so much difficulty having to continue to live. It's like torment for some of well suffering, suffering on earth, and it's worse than just physical pain or having physical difficulty or being old. But that's a bit that's an awful problem when people get old and they have physical difficulties and all that's from the sin from the sin our own sin and sometimes the sin of others because the sin of others killed Jesus the, the world around him he was so different from the world around him so beautiful but he had to save everyone so he had to really do God's work and he wasn't made for this sinful earth so he had to go back to heaven and then he'll come back down and make heaven on earth and everything will be good for all of us but um, we're kind of sinful so we can't be as good and beautiful as Jesus and if we were 
Jesus suffered for us so that it would be even way better because the sin is going to hurt ourselves anyway. Might as well be really kind and good and then it won't hurt us as much. And, and, and instead of thinking of it in a selfish way, uh, just really kind and good because that's the way to be with the Holy Spirit, God and Jesus. And uh, I probably don't deserve the Holy Spirit right now because I, I may have sinned a little bit this morning because I'm just a regular sinful man. I'm not as, I don't deserve the glory like God and Jesus Oh, did I, I put pictures on the side of this or something of me like in really good shape, like in uh, 2019, 2020. This is the beginning of 2020 when I had these um, pictures. This is the beginning of 2020, those pictures on the right side. There, I'm not in as good a shape now, but I'm, I'm okay. Um, I got in really good shape because I thought I was going to die or something. Because, like, I breathed in, like, dust for, like, eight months. <laughs> Working on my house 12 hours a day. And the work isn't what felt bad. It was that Danica was supposed to get here. So I got the house. I did all this work to the house 12 hours a day. 80% of the labor was me. And um, there's some days I worked 23 hours straight and was barely able to walk to the bed. And once I laid down in the bed, I couldn't move my body an inch. It felt like this really heavy body. I couldn't move an inch. And then I fell asleep. And um, the next day woke up, was barely able to get out of bed and had to get to work again somehow. And um, I didn't, every day wasn't that way, but on average it was 12 hours a day for eight months every day on average 12 hours a day even the weekends for eight months and it wasn't the work that didn't feel good it was that at first I was motivated and I thought her and the kids were going to move here and then they didn't move here or, or she said she wasn't going to but I thought if I just do God's work and work as hard as I can and be kind and good she'll, they'll, she'll come back here with her and the kids and instead at the end of it she bought a, her mom she bought a new house in Texas instead of moving to this house. And I thought, I'll just keep working and God will somehow make everything okay. And what happened was I, I um, from the stress and not feeling love from her in return, um, and it just, it, it like, It made me unable to, uh, and breathing the uh, stuff indoors, working in my house for eight months, and, and all the stress of it and everything, I was unable to breathe all of a sudden. And so I went outside to go for a walk. I thought I'd just get some air, and, I, and it got worse, and I collapsed on the ground miles away from people in the freezing cold. And um, I thought, I've got to get to an ambulance. And then, like, I have a video on this uh, talking about when I almost died from working too hard. And, oh, um, that was one of the times I felt like I almost died from working too hard. It happened also from working on houses uh, at the end of uh, 2016, and I didn't work for three days for the first time. Uh, well, I had only taken one day off in a year. I had worked also that <clears throat> at that same rate, uh, 12 hours a day for a year. But then I didn't have to work for like eight months after that. And I got to work really super hard on video, so I would never have to work that hard at the other stuff again. And then it still hasn't made enough money. And it's been so much work since I was about. And so, so um, when I was unable to breathe, I had to get on medicine. I went to urgent care for, and um, I couldn't work in the house even a few minutes or make the bad feeling come back and I couldn't breathe. So I got to like not work in the house and then um, I got in really good shape because I thought it would help my health. And, uh, and I took the medicine to help me breathe better. And after about a month of working like really a bunch on my health and getting in good shape, those are the pictures of me at age 43 on the right side of the screen. I got in really good shape. I was 43 and I looked really good. I was in good shape. I weighed two, about 198. 198 because I had some muscles working so hard to, to try to be in good health. And um, and then all the breathing problems went away. And I looked like really good from working so hard at trying to be healthier. 
And um, I didn't have any breathing problems since then. And right after that, COVID-19 happened. And God, like I found God in Jesus then. And it was really good. And I could, um, I, I really start, I found the love of God in Jesus when Danica wasn't able to be there for me, when she couldn't be there for me. And I found God in Jesus and I got to work on videos for like, eight months or something and then had to work in the houses again it made me a little depressed because my video still didn't work after because then i start i got to work on uh, once i could breathe better i got to work on like um videos like 12 hours a day and working out and talking to her and the kids you know uh on video chat or writing to them and it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders and i felt amazing i did all this really good work and all these good videos <clears throat> and um and my house was worth money, so I had some money I could borrow against the house, and um, so I could like pay my bills, and um, and so that's it. I'm gonna go praise God, praise Jesus. I'm not gonna write the screenplay I was going to, but I'm not going to. God had a better plan for me. I preached the gospel of Jesus in this in this uh, in this video, unless uh. Unless the screenplay I'm writing right now is the life story of John Birmingham, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's like the narration. Maybe it's like a, a narrative movie about the life story of John Birmingham based on the real things that happened to me. So maybe I just like talked out the screenplay and, and, and somebody could write it down based on what I just said. So um, maybe this this one's the life story of John Birmingham. So, um, I don't know, or, or not really, I don't have to, I don't have to make a screenplay out of it, but instead, but I, I, I should, I should, because, um, it's my work I do on earth, and, um, I've got to do something to make money that's, that's not like, uh, something that made me, like, feel bad or depressed or something, unless, I think now, like, it doesn't have to feel bad, it was just because Danica wasn't moving here, I thought at first she was, and I was really motivated to work, and then, uh, she just didn't move here and I felt worse and worse for like many months near the end of it every day felt so awful and I had to keep working and um, it just had this weird effect on my body and so I had to get in really good shape and then I felt really amazing and looked really good from working so hard and then I got to make all these videos and everything was okay and so maybe this will I, I guess this will be the life story of John Birmingham so this will be the life story of John Birmingham. This screen it just had this weird effect. <laughs> the life story of John Birmingham. And the way that you title a screenplay is different from, I think, a book title. I don't know how a novel or book title is, is, is written, but I think it's in quotes. When you, if you're just writing a screenplay, you don't put it in quotes. Like a movie is not put in quotes. You don't say the, you know, unless it's a book, unless it's a novel, the life story of John Burton, you don't put it in quotes. You just write it in capitals as a title that's, that stands alone without quotes. The life story of John Birmingham, that's the name of the movie. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. The movie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but God has a better plan than our selfish thing of like, oh, we have to work really hard at some uh, way that's supposed to be. God knows better sometimes. So may, may want me to write the movie in it with like lowercase so it could kind of be like, you know. But, um, oh, the movie. It, it came out good anyway in my, my way that I thought was like God let me do it a way that was like for me anyway because like I was born in 77 and I noticed that after I got done typing it like it says 77 out of 100 so that's it could be selfish <coughs> uh, but it's not it was something godly and good that it came out this way I don't know why okay I'm just gonna go okay I'm gonna go bye praise God praise Jesus I'm gonna go I'm, oh, let's look at the, um, is there a chat on this? Wait. 
I've been looking up this guy, Dwayne Peters. You might want to look him up. He's like, he's this other guy. He was in a, a famous band, U.S. Bombs, and he uh, and and he was a skateboarder. He was a, a pro skateboarder and is a skateboarder. And he's like 62. Um, he he got hurt one time and had to walk with a cane. Um, and um, he he may not walk with a cane now, but he's like. He's this pro skater, Dwayne Peters, and um, he's like having difficulty with um, with paying his bills, and he's almost homeless. And some other guy who's his friend donated him this like new looking in the inside, but it's a, it's a mobile home, and he gave him a free mobile home, and he has somewhere to park it. But he's looking for land now, and he asked for donations, and he works hard at the stuff he does. But um, he's having difficulty paying his bills, kind of like Al. But he's he's, he's he kind of like Al, kind of like Al, Al Bob. And so, like, if you don't work at something else that makes money, some of these famous people who got really famous have difficulty paying their bills. So um, I've been having to think about that. Like, I have to, I may have to keep working on homes, but um, the videos may get bigger so that it actually pays money more it's paying money now it's paying money but i'm not making that much money at it and um so this guy is having difficulty paying some of his bills and he has all these old skateboards and tons of stuff stuff that he sells like special skateboard decks for like 700 bucks or 200 bucks or a thousand bucks and he sells like art pieces and stuff i'm gonna and, and so i've been watching <laughs> no <laughs> And so um, I've been watching him, Dwayne Peters, and some of his music is really cool, but some of it's like, oh, man, it's awful. His son died in a car wreck, and he had to suffer through that. It was awful. Thank God, I think his son didn't kill himself or anything like that. And it had me worried because he sang this song, and it was like, My son killed himself, why'd you do it to me? ba da do da de da de yeah. And he's, he, sang, he sings these songs, and they said, some of them are cool. And um, and it sounds good. And he's in a kind of famous band called U.S. Bombs. See, like U.S. Bombs. I don't know if you remember seeing that logo in skateboard magazines or something. Maybe not. U.S. Bombs. I don't know. And um, I couldn't remember if it was famous because I thought he was like. I don't know. But he's famous. He was a pro skater. And I think he's pretty cool and he's nice. And he's just, he, well, he, he's, he's doing the best that he can doing God's work. He, he does God's work. And uh, God is looking out for him and has him go through these ups and downs. And you can watch his videos. And if you want, you can check out his videos. You don't have to give him money or anything. Dwayne Peters. <laughs> he's this other guy. And um, he calls it disaster because... I think I realized his own problems are from his own sin and and um we all go through stuff like our own sin and it's like it doesn't make him that bad he's just had a little difficulty with money but he still has like an entire huge mobile home that somebody just gave him so he has somewhere to live with his wife and um he's doing okay at his videos but uh he doesn't have that many subscribers he may not be making that much money at it and so he uploads videos. Here's his channel if you want to subscribe to him. I don't know. He's another guy. And um, I was just watching some of his videos. I, I wasn't just doing anything. Way more than I was thinking God's work. God and Jesus. If there's anything that it just has to be, it's God. And, G or, and or Jesus. God. If there's any one thing, it has to be, be God. So, um... He's some other guy I happen to be watching, and you don't ever want to act like a false idol or something, but it's awful, and it got me thinking, you know, how am I going to pay my bills? I may have to work on homes more, and it's probably not going to be hard to do. It's probably going to be okay. It doesn't have to be the same way it was at various other, at, at different other times where sometimes it was okay, sometimes it wasn't. It can be like, I may get like really good at working on homes, but uh, it's up to my dad kind of he wants to help me and with him as a boss that's like uh it's just not it, but uh 
I don't know. But I have enough money. Um, I have a place to live. I may get to keep my house. I may own my house. I don't know. I'm working with my my dad and mom, my mom and dad, on stuff, and I don't know what I'm gonna do quite yet to um, make way more money. So I know I have enough to like retire and stuff. And here's another guy who's had difficulty with money, D. Snyder. D. Snyder had to ride a bike to work at an office. In 1991, I, I think in, in 1991, yeah, I just know, I found this video on him, oh, he said he was broke, had to lie about who he was, because he was like, not in his D. Snyder clothes, I don't know why he lied about who he was, because he was so famous in the 80s, and um, he hit a low point, he, he, he had a difficult time, and he had three kids, and it, it saved his marriage to humble himself instead of being the coolest one ever or something. And um, he got to keep his wife and kids. And um, he had to ride a bike. See, this said by 91, 1991, and he has like $7 million or $10 million, but um, he had to work really hard to have that much at his age. So, um, you know, but... Um, uh, so he can, so he has enough for his wife and kids if anything were to happen to their health or you know he's obviously in amazing health he works really hard at his health because that was like i don't know he, he was into he was into like being a person in front of camera so he had to work hard I, I don't know how but he's you know he had to work hard at the way he looked so he was healthy and the easiest way to do it was to be healthy and he didn't want to hurt his body i guess so i don't know but i think he's in like amazing physical shape uh, D. Snyder, so probably when something probably wouldn't go wrong with his health, but you never, only God knows. And so, if anything were to happen, he can afford to pay for him and his wife and kids. And uh, he's had these ups and downs. Where in 1991, he was in his late 30s. Well, he was in his late 30s, and he had to ride a bike. He had to ride a bicycle to a job answering phones in an office after he got really famous as uh, himself in uh, his D. Snyder and Twisted Sister. Oh, it looks like Steve-O filmed him two months ago. It looks like they have it like really good and easy, like, oh, they have no problems, they're famous, so uh, everyone wants to be like them or something. But they have problems too. <laughs> they have problems too. Chris Angel directed a video of them like in the 2000s or 2014 or something. 2015, I don't know, in 2014. Uh, we're not going to take it. Because when they did We're Not Going to Take It, it went number one. It went number one. And um, it was, you know, like at the time, it was like one of, one of the biggest things on earth. They were huge. They were pretty big. But it, it didn't stay that way, and they had to pay their bills. And so when he was working at the office, I guess he realized he's got to go. He's got to get along with his band again, so they can make money. And he's really good friends with this other guy in the band who has the same amount of money as he does. Who started the band with him? He's like the guitarist or something. And that's just decent for me. So I don't know. <clears throat> And this was, um, I wonder when this happened. Oh, he had to go to court in 1985, but he was still in his prime after that. In 1986, in 1986 he said he was still having the best, hugest times ever. He went into court dressed like that. That's crazy. It didn't even bother him. He was like, oh, the, that was in the PMRC or something like that. But they made friends and got along anyway. And so, like, I guess that had nothing to do with it. 
but he had a song called "We're Not Gonna Take It." Like again, and it was like, but he had to get along with the the military people and stuff too. You know, be kind to everybody, and just God made his life however it is. So I was looking at him, and he had difficulty paying his bills. He had to ride a bike. He had to ride a bike to a job when he was in his late thirties after he was way famous. And um, had to answer phones at an office, and I, you know, I haven't gotten way famous. So I realized that you know he had to get to work, and he had to realize he had to get along with his. Uh, he maybe acted like he was better than the other guy in the band, but his, the other guy in the band was special to him for some reason. You know, I haven't had anyone that was like a business partner of other friends and stuff. Um, it's my, the business partners I had were like. Well, or people I worked for, and business partner. My business partner was like my wife, Danica, and my dad and mom. So, um, <clears throat> so I noticed him, and he had to like do stuff to work to have enough money. So I'm thinking about what I'm gonna have to do to have enough money, and I may buy a small house because I made some. I, with my working with my dad, I may buy a small house that I do work to, but I don't know where it's going to be. If it's going to be in Roanoke, I don't know where it's going to be. Or it may be in California, but I think my dad wants me to stay in Roanoke. But he's my dad, and I'm married to Danica, and we do the more um, video stuff. Like she. She oh, this guy lied about it. I don't know who Adam Pierman is. I unblocked him. He used to say mean stuff, and now he said another pretend mean thing. He's not near Danica. He doesn't. He doesn't know where she lives or anything about her, pretty much, other than what he's watched in videos. But he doesn't know her. You know. I don't know who that person is. He said some kind of mean things and then I unblocked him again and now he said another, I don't know. Uh, Steve-O works constantly almost. Not really, but he did. Ugh. He He's prone to like, he likes to show his body off, Steve-O. I better not show that video. He's made a bunch of money, like, People try to get a bunch of money saved, well, just in case anything happens, they have enough money. <clears throat> and Al still has some amount of money, but uh, he's not really, he's not homeless. He said he was homeless, but he, I don't know. So I've been thinking about what I have to do to make more money, and I have my health so I can work. This was after this was after I worked really hard on my house for twelve months. It was heavier, got almost incapacitated, uh, fell to the ground, barely able to breathe. I worked so hard under so much stress, hoping to get my wife and kids back in my house. And then I had to stop working in the house and work really hard at my health. And it and and it, and I got way healthy in this shape and then could breathe really well again after I wasn't breathing the dust in the house anymore and was didn't have the stress anymore and found God and Jesus. This is when I found God and Jesus. And I started reading the Bible at the beginning of well, this is when I really found God and Jesus. I had Jesus before I had God and Jesus, but this is when I really started getting way into God and Jesus and, and putting it put, putting God and Jesus first. And this was in like January of twenty twenty. And um this is about the shape I was in, and not the best shape ever, but um, I was really athletic and in good shape. I weighed 200 pounds, and my face looked better, and my face looked good, well, for the time. I was like 42, and so it's okay. And then, uh, and there are all these pictures I have from that, that I did a little photo shoot right then. Here's another one. And um, then I got to make videos. 
and I didn't have to worry about being there for my wife and kids because COVID-19 happened and I was so afraid to go out there because of because I had just had breathing difficulty and so I had to be like really careful to wear a mask to wash my hands but I went out there anyway and got groceries for my mom and dad at first but I was scared as crap I'm not the best example of things and um and um and um I stayed at home and I got to stay at home for like the entire year or more and I worked on videos but I had to work on my I had to start working on my house again these things happened I had to start working on my house again and it was like really sad that my videos still didn't make enough money and I was doing a really good quality filming and editing then in the year 2020 and uh, this is at the beginning of it and I gained a little weight after I was like comfortable enough where I was like and then at one time I gained a bunch of weight back and got heavier than I'd ever been and I still didn't have the breathing problem so I was like oh okay um it's not really a worry anymore that's a miracle the breathing problems weren't a worry anymore this is when I was 42 I got in pretty good shape and um <clears throat> it was it's like if you look at my eyes or look at my face I was scared as shit and I was like, I thought I might not be able to breathe because sometimes it was like breathing through a straw. Every breath was almost agonizing. And I can understand that uh, Jesus had it way worse when he was on the cross because that's how they die on the cross from suffocation. So every breath was like agonizing, barely getting a breath for Jesus. Not me, not for me. But I acted a little bit mean and trying to be healthier at this time because I thought I was like, I was not that mean, but I was like, I was scared as crap I'd die and so I acted a little bit mean and stupid I shouldn't have done that but um it, it eventually caused me to gain back more fat than I had ever had in my life <laughs> I think or heavier than I ever been in my life I got up to like 240 something but here I was like at 200 pounds and um even at my heaviest I didn't have the breathing difficulty so it wasn't it was just from breathing like dust and working long hours under stressful conditions with with the stress of my life and other stuff and so it didn't happen again so that's been a miracle and it, I don't think it's going to happen again but um, I'm going to work on my health a bunch because I don't want other health problems to happen so I work out with weights I keep them handy the, the best way to stay in shape is to like find a place that's like easy to go to at home so when you're in the mood right then and feel like energetic or good you can you can do some of the weights that are like not too heavy but the ones that you can pick up and just do right then so having somewhere where there's not like a bunch of clutter and it like feels good to be to work out or turn on music and have it at home so you don't have to drive to a gym because if you're gonna have to drive to a gym you may just quit doing it you know all that stuff to go through just to be able to work out so it's easier to like work out at home and then I found a way to just stay in better shape because I work out at home with stuff and it's like easier but I may go to a gym again I don't know I just don't like going to gyms usually because you have to like go through all that stuff check in at the front drive all the way there go to a, a locker and all that stuff just to work out and then like you know in aerobic exercise you have to do way longer like the old days of like when people did aerobic exercise you have to be so skinny to do it and um it almost defeats what they're saying now it almost defeats the purpose of doing it unless you're like really fasting you really have to fast and hardly eat any food to to be like somebody like Mick Jagger to do it as you get older like to stay in shape enough or something and dance and stuff or it's going to hurt the joints if you're too heavy so it's better to like work out with weights and then when you're light enough then maybe you can do like dancing or aerobic and stuff like that but you have to be really light for it not to hurt you as you get older <coughs> um and it's hard to do you have to do so many workouts if you're just doing aerobic it's it's not a good way to do long term unless you're like really good at fasting and hardly eating any food So I don't know, but God knows. I don't know. Some people are just easier, like to um. 
staying in good shape or something. And I had to work hard at it. And then I found, like, um, you know, it's like there's times when I get really motivated. It's like how you get, like, really motivated. Like, when you want to do, like, really good stuff. And, like, right then is when you're supposed to, like, work out or uh, not have food. And, and uh, like, it's, like, not good to stay too sedentary. And often I've found I can lay in a bed. Sometimes for like almost all day if my body needs to rest. Because when you do strength training, you work out so hard, these like super amounts of things, and then your body needs to recover and rest after that. Like get good sleep at night and rest the next day. If if because you can't do too much, you don't want to hurt your body, so you have to find a balance and work at it and not work at it. And just rest and not not work at it. But uh the body's gonna go anyway. Our bodies are going to die unless we live to the um, tribulation, but it helps a little bit. I found a verse in the Bible. I found a verse in the Bible that says you can work at your health. Working at the physical body, the Bible. Yeah. It says in the Bible... In Timothy 4, 8. Bodily training, well, training the physical body. Well, not having sex or lust or anything like that. That, that doesn't count. That hurts it. If, if, if you fornicate, that hurts the body. So don't think of sex as like um, a workout unless uh, it's with your wife. Maybe it could be. Or... Um, you're thinking of only being with your husband or wife, your husband or wife, and uh, it can't be just somebody on paper who says you're married to unless God has you married to them in the same flesh and you're equal to them. Then, then maybe that would be a good workout, but it's usually going to be kind of unclean or lustful or something. But um, uh, um, sex is different from just being in good shape. In good shape uh, can have nothing to do with sex. If you abstain from even thoughts of lust, um, you can still work out, and or, or, but you may not be able to because our bodies are going to go eventually. So it says, while, by, while training the physical body is of some value, so that's the miracle that it says it's some value, but it's a small miracle compared to this. Uh, but it, it's a, that's of some value. Godliness is of value in every way. That means it helps the physical body too when you're kind and Jesus-like and godly. That helps everything way more than just training the body. As it holds promise for the present life and also for the, for the life after this that's forever. So it helps you in this life too, when you're godly. That's a miracle. That's the best miracle of all is, is to be godly and Jesus-like. Godly on earth, like God. And the way that we're judged is um, how Jesus-like we are on Judgment Day. Kindness to others, forgiving others. Kindness to others, forgiving others doing to others as you would do it to yourself. I wonder if that's from the Old Testament or New Testament. Do it to others as you do it to yourself. The way to heaven is through Jesus. Oh wait. Oh. How we are judged on judgment day is through Jesus. Faith in Jesus Christ helps us to be prepared for final judgment on Judgment Day. Because uh, hell is like literally forever. You don't want to end up there. And you will. It, it, some people who go there, or you won't go there. <laughs> I don't know. Only God knows who will, who will go there or not. He'll judge us and say that those people end up forever suffering and torment and unrest. It, it just really bad forever. But, um, 
even they'll make it to heaven one day after they die the second death and they'll they'll be changed too but it's going to be like a million times a billion times worse than than any bad thing that could happen on earth or in, in constant unrest and torment at the hands of demons and and the sin and it's going to be so bad for those people you know even some people are kind of bad maybe 400 years of it in hell at one time i thought that's what would happen if i had died and i had to be i had to go through years of, of, of suffering maybe like eight years of suffering um most of the time after after the sin i had done and then it got okay again but sometimes it was okay like 40 something percent 40 percent of the time 40 something percent of the time but um i cried thousands of times i used to only cry once a year my life was like so good feeling i cry about every day but it's just crying it doesn't mean you're, you're depressed like sometimes i cry and, and i think my depression went away It says that in the Bible that Jesus will judge us and God will judge us. And John, uh, well, the, I'm not John from the Bible. My name just happens to be John. Or if my mom named me after that part of the Bible, I, I should read that part of the Bible more because... Um, that's how my mom and dad raised me to be Jesus-like. It must have something to do with that part of the Bible. I haven't, I've read some of it, but um, in John 5.22 it says, Oh, so I should read that because I've re read uh, almost all of Matthew and I look, I've look. i looked up all these Bible, Bible verses on the computer. Um, often, well, sometimes every day. Sometimes every day. But I haven't read through, I haven't read the entire Bible. So I should read more of John. Because uh, that's how I was written, that's how I was raised on God and Jesus. And God ra God raises children too. So even if, if there's if their parent if their mom and dad can't be there for them, God raises them too. But sometimes human beings in the sin uh, turn people away from God as a child, and God doesn't do that. But God's aware of that, and um, God has God does everything, even though the devil causes the bad. But God does everything; it'll be okay. And if it's not now, it'll be okay one day. And, and God makes the suffering go away. He'll strengthen us after we suffer. Okay. John says it's not the Father who judges in the end, but Christ. And 1 Peter 1.17 seemed to say, no, the Father judges in the end. Because Jesus is sometimes God. So you have to understand what it really means. Everything in the Bible is true. And when you have faith, you, you believe in what it says more, and you understand it. You can understand it better. So some of it I may not quite under. There's so much of it we may not understand. If you call on him, whoops. If you if you call on him as the Father who judges impartially. If you call on him as the Father who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourselves with fear throughout the time of your ex exile well, that that just means that you're supposed to um call on Jesus instead of God to judge you so I think they I think the person writing this got it a little bit wrong 
because they said, but in the other passages, it seems to say, no, the Father judges in the end. That's not true. The, uh, if you call on Him as the Father, if you call on Jesus as God, who judges impartially according to each one's deeds, conduct yourself yourselves with fear throughout the time of your exile. So if you're looking at Jesus as God to judge you, then that's not going to be good because you should be afraid. So you should look to Jesus to judge you, and then you won't be afraid. Because Jesus is kind to others and really good. But I don't know. I'm lo I was lustful earlier today, so I've had anxiety about that. Or I was just thinking about being. I I, I, I wasn't thinking about any other women, but I was like, I was like, hoping to be with my wife. And I've been really good about that, and still it, it caused like a little bit of anxiety from how I was. But uh, sometimes I don't deserve it, and I've had to go through more of it than I thought. But I don't know. I, God even knows that we kind of deserve it too. And so, I don't know. Better be kind to others and not blame anyone. Forgive others. And so, okay, that's it. I'm going to go. Hey, look how cool and in shape I am. I'm lustful. One idiot. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, he doesn't look in that good shape, but um, they're. But I worked really hard to get in, in the best shape I was able to at the time, so that's what I happen to look like. I don't know. I have all these pictures of me in really good shape. These are all the outtakes and all of them. I could look at this, but I don't know what it's going to look like. Here's a picture of me with the mask on when I was working like long hours in the house wearing a mask so I didn't breathe it in as much. Well, Oh, cool, the snow. I'm going to add that in there, too. I'm also doing the, doing the thing and look at these pictures. I'll show you all the, un, all the um, unedited pictures, all the bad ones, too. I mean, not, they're not bad. All of them are good, but uh, the outtakes and stuff. I was in pretty good shape. Uh, all these open, too. This is me. I did this photo shoot with me after I got in good shape, and 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 the um the the breathing problems that I had from breathing dust went away. <clears throat> wow, looked crazy what I had to go through. The look on my face, I was so worried. I, it was like breathing through a straw every breath. Sometimes, I was so afraid I'd die. I had to get on medicine from urgent care to help me to breathe, and I had to work really hard at fasting. I was afraid to eat uh, too much food, and um, I had to get fresh air and stuff, and um, the work anymore. I had worked 12 hours a day on the house um, for eight months, 80% uh, of the labor I did, and it was sometimes more stressful having to hire men to do some of the things I couldn't do like go like like it was just it was okay and so I got in really good shape and they did a photo shoot that's when I had darker hair I was 43 I was actually wasn't 42 I was 43 these are all the outtakes and stuff. Some of them look in better shape than others, but I don't know. I think I filmed the Brokeback Mountain 2 movie after that. And I had worked so hard at hard labor. Um, my hands started to look like an old working man's hands. And it was pretty sad. And I noticed it. And... Um, it was a miracle I got to stop working, and in a few months, they went back to regular young-looking hands. And my neck looked older, too. You can see it a little bit in the Brokeback Mountain 2 video, and that went back to normal, but then it got fatter, and I don't know what it looks like now or what. I looked like an older working man. And then I got in really good shape in these pictures, so I didn't die from feeling so bad. And then, um, this looks pretty good. I can't believe I did that, got in that kind of shape. 
and it looked really good and you couldn't tell. But um, I don't know. There I look kind of like my cousin Tommy. He's a doctor, he's a young man, he has a family. Somebody's stupid calling on spam call, I don't know what it is. So these are just, there I look like my cousin Tommy too. <clears throat> I don't know why I happen to look like him. Does actually really get pretty athletic shape. I don't know. And then I started filming a bunch of videos so I wouldn't have to work with the other stuff if I didn't feel like it. And I started filming 12 hours a day. Well, filming and editing and working out. And I, I, of course talking to her and the kids, her and the kids and making sure they're okay and stuff. <clears throat> but I was by myself almost all, all year and the next year because of COVID-19. I was like afraid to go out a little more than most people. But at one time I got my parents groceries at the beginning of it, of COVID-19. Because I didn't want to like, these are all the outtakes and stuff where I took pictures of myself. I think I photoshopped this one. I just added a filter on it. None of these are photoshopped. These are right from the camera. I think none of these are photoshopped. It's pretty amazing that I look that good. This one I look kind of mean, like the expression on my face. Like I was, I thought I had to get in really good health because I was worried I might die. It was like breathing through a straw or something. Because I breathed in all this dust for like 12 months and under stressful uh, working conditions of Danica not showing me love and I was trying to get the house ready for them and all this other stuff happened. And then, um, I don't know. Then I just got really healthy after that, working so hard at my health. And I get to work hard at videos and God's work. And I, was, I really just do God's work the whole time. And I got really fat and the breathing problems didn't come back at all. I got fatter than I'd ever been. <laughs> I wasn't that fat because I lifted weights, but I was kind of heavy and out of shape sometimes. I, didn't show, I don't show myself in the videos if I look that bad, I think. But I think I've shown myself looking bad in all of it, <laughs> in some of it. There's some videos, but I, I may have, but, and you may be able to tell in some of the videos, like, why well, she at forward D or something. It's like the wrong kind of, it, it doesn't look like, like the fat is supposed to, it, I don't know. Like that boob, like this boob right here, looked like, hey guys, down here, fat as shit. It just looked like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Here's me when I was working in the house before that. Oh, one of the first things I did when I started working on the house was the floors. And um, that only took a few weeks, but it was like long hour. It was so hard to do and get it right. So I didn't get any, I didn't get a tiny piece of that uh, oil paint, which stuck to almost anything. I didn't get a tiny piece of it anywhere besides on the floors where it was supposed to go after I cleaned the floors really well and got everything ready, got every piece, of, every, all the furniture all out of the way and, and painted the floors in a way that it stayed good till, till, till today, still. And this is just me in their shape again. That looks a little scary, I don't know. That was a mean looking one, that expression on my face. This one's nice. Well, kind of nice. This is nice. But this one looks mean. Like it was like I was afraid I was going to die, so I had to be a little bit mean and work really hard at trying to be in better health. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't look that great. It just looks like kind of in shape, skinny, like not that in great shape. Like, people look, like, when they starve themselves, or when they hardly have any food, they look the same as somebody who's really fat. Like, it just looks, like, deflated or something. But but this is actually kind of muscular. I don't know. There's a, there's kind of, like, an, like, it looks, like, kind of, like, deflated. Like, pretty much looks the same as if they're really fat. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's, it doesn't matter that much. It's like how confident you are as long as you're healthy enough. As long as you're healthy enough. That's why at one time I was like, who cares if I'm fat as long as I'm really healthy? And, and you know, feel, feel okay, but I have to work on, on my health too. There just didn't look that. It looks a little older if you're if you're try, if somebody is trying to be like, you know, how how good looking are you or something. I guess that was 198 pounds or 198 pounds. That's pretty good. I don't know what that means. It depends on how much muscle you have, because some people are lighter and they, they don't look as good. It, it, and uh, the weight could not really mean anything. There was a time when I got up to 220 and was like really athletic. And um, I can't believe that happened because I used to go by the scale more. When I was in LA, I didn't go on the scale at all and I got in good shape. But this one, I weighed myself after, right after and I was up to 201.6. That was the same time as all these pictures. And my face looked better because I was more healthy and drinking water and like not as much food. Like I was hydrated and light or a little lighter, but and if I ate food, I'd really try to work out with weights. So so I went to um more muscle mass that lasts longer and stuff, and um and it didn't weaken the muscle because people have, sometimes I have difficulty um walking as they get older if they don't do if they don't do weights for the muscle unless they naturally have strong legs which i don't know if i, I probably would have had weak legs if i didn't do muscle stuff i was 43 there i look about 43 this one i look way younger this is not photoshopped at all can't believe i got that good looking from being healthy and um that's literally how I look. There's no Photoshop at all. It's amazing. I think it's pretty good. But, you know, some people just show up in these group pictures and they look they look really good no matter how old they get or something. But sometimes then they sometimes they show up looking bad, so I don't know. I don't know. This one this one looks much older than this one. This one I look really young. Looks like maybe like 32, probably about 32 in good shape and healthy for 32. And I was 43, but this one looks like older. This one looks like I think 38 in really good shape and really good athletic and good looking for 38 about. For how hard I worked at it, I don't know. That's how it, I don't know. There, it looks like you can tell my neck was starting to look a little older from doing all the working man's hard labor, like working with tools and stuff, like an old man, like like those old, not an old man. <laughs> oh, no, no, like those people who have worked so hard at hard labor their whole lives, and they have like a drawer of tools. I ended up with a drawer of working man's tools. Like um, like little like all and like rooms filled with tools and paint and supplies and stuff that I had painted the walls and stuff with or something, not tools but like I only have a few real power tools and I I don't know where they are I haven't been able to find find them but I have my drill and like one or two others, one, I don't know but I think that's all I had it was like three main power tools that I don't, but I had a tile saw and I don't know what happened to the tile saw. Hopefully my dad got it. <clears throat> this is just the outtakes and everything. That I had filmed them. I had taken the pictures of myself. And I, that looks weird. Hey, guys. I don't know. And this was like... 2021. This was awful. I got... I had so much anxiety and got heavier. This awful thing happened. I got very depressed for, uh, that was awful. I better get away from that. But it still wasn't that bad. I got okay again.
Oh, I wonder what happened in these pictures in the snow. I wonder. These are from 2020, I think, the winter of 2020. Oh, it took a picture of the next door neighbor's goat. It looks like a sheep. It looks like a black sheep. This is when it snowed in 2020. I'm going to see. That was the other neighbor who used to live there. Um, he had a son and he had goats. And he let him like run something. They ran away and he doesn't know what happened to him when they're somewhere. <laughs> he had those goats. And they look so weird, but God created them. They're not like evil or bad. That goat looks so weird. Like they have a weird looking head, face. It's scary. Kind of, I don't know. They're nice though. I was nice to them. That looks scary. Almost like a demon head. <laughs> oh, it looks like a demon head. But they're creatures that God, who God created. They're not from hell. I was a little afraid of them. Then I made friends with them. And then I just didn't like them at my house, so I had to tell them to leave when I'd go outside there, when they were there. Here's a picture of me after I think I gained weight that year, when I finally was like, <sighs> yeah, I had, I had gained a little weight. My face is a little fatter. Yeah. Hey, guys. No. But I was still working out with weights to try to keep in shape. I may have lifted heavier because I was eating more protein or something. Like it, I would still try to work at being in okay shape even when I was a little heavier. That one looks okay. My arm looks huge. My bicep or arm looks, looks really strong. Like that arm. I don't know. Because I would just work on my health because I didn't... I, I don't know why. You can, I don't know, you might look better than I do because literally look how fat. I mean, look guys, go to fat neck. <laughs> I don't know. Here's like kind of like a chubby face, like almost looks kind of old. Like, you know, I just, I wasn't, I wasn't getting enough views and uh, I just, Somehow I took it easy by eating more food or something. I don't know why. I just got like a little heavier that time. I don't know where. It, I wonder when those pictures are from. It may show the um, date or may not. September 18th, 2019. Oh, that's when the stuff ha started happening in my house. And it was so difficult. I had to clean every inch of the house. Um, because this stuff got in the air and, and it was so awful and, and no one else would have done it and I couldn't hire anyone to do it and had to do it all myself no matter how I felt it took like two weeks every day I had to work in the house again after, my, after I'd worked on the videos for like eight months 12 hours a day doing my best work on these really good videos and, and it didn't even make any more money on YouTube and I had to get back to work again on the house. And it was, and my depression came back and I had to start, uh, well, I ate more food, I was stressed out. Uh, uh, it was awful and I didn't think I'd have to work on the house more. And I did. <clears throat> and now it's not that bad working on the house and I haven't had to do as much of the work myself since then, but um, it was stressful having to have people in my home to hire so that it would go up in value enough you know, I could borrow against it and just get by just to pay my bills. And I didn't get those new cameras I thought I was gonna get. Like, they didn't show up in the mail yet, but one of them may. I don't know. What is this? This could be some weird outtake. I actually look pretty good. I must have deleted all the really bad outtakes. This was like after it got really stressful and I felt really bad. This is how much different my face looks. 
the same year later that later in the year from um this picture was earlier in the year wait I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure these pictures are not on the screen yeah and, uh, oh it's not showing any of it it wasn't showing any of it wasn't showing any of it. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay, this picture is um earlier in the year on the left, and this picture is after all the stressful ha stuff happened to me later in the year on the right. I thought you could see all that, but no, I couldn't. I wasn't showing any. It was showing a big close up of my face. I was talking, and it wasn't showing it for a long time. I don't know what it is. I better just go. I'm going to go. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Here's me before when I worked really hard on my health and got back in good shape. And all my health was, I think, better. And um, then I worked really hard at videos for eight months. And it didn't make enough money and all this stuff happened in the house and it was so stressful I had to start working on the house again and this is what it did to my looks even this is looking as best as I could right after I shaved probably oh my god already and both of these I got ready and shaved and looked the best I could or shaved the night before and um and this is my best on the left and this is my best on the right the same year later that year after all this stressful stuff happened again you can tell my eye right there looks older like um that's the way my eyes really look none of this is photoshop and you know there, there's a little bit of lines right there you can tell the difference between the eyes that's the same year a little later in the year you know one looks younger, one looks older. <clears throat> That's me on the right. After some more stressful stuff happened, looking my best ever, feeling really good again, and getting, you know, taking a shower and everything after all the bad stuff happened, it looks older there compared to here it didn't really have any of it may have been little tiny hairs or something like that but we all we're all going to get older but i don't know we're all going to get older but uh you can't look like you're like 15 all the time or something <clears throat> But that's the kind of stuff that somebody who's like 20 years old may have. Like this. Any little thing like that that probably gives away and turns into something else. That's what they have when they're like 23 or 24. So I, it's amazing I got in that kind of shape. Because I had to work at my my looks to um, look good enough in front of the camera. Just because God made me somebody who's an actor and maybe a preacher. But... Um, somebody who talks in front of camera or something like that so and when I was younger I had really bad uh, insecurity issues about my looks that other people didn't have when they were growing up like I thought I didn't look really good I didn't I thought I didn't look that good at all and so I don't know I probably worked at it way harder than most people or something to come back from like how bad I felt but I don't know it was it was a tremendous amount of God's work. I had to feel like the least of everyone for looks. I don't know if it was true or not, but I felt that way. Like I might have looked okay, but I, in, in my mind I thought they were looking at every little detail. Like here's an example of how I, how I was at my like see this little mark right there. I may have worried about that so much and thought that it was like somebody else who had cancer that I was my, I thought that might have turned into cancer and I may have worried about it for like 12 hours constantly around other people thinking that that's all they saw or something like that. And, and I had to suffer through that and go through God's work and be as kind and Jesus-like and he's kind to others and stand up for others being okay and, and go through that the entire day of 12 hours of unrest. And, and that's the kind of stuff that I had to go through so that then I could like, when I was older, I could feel really good 
from just getting to work out and stuff or whatever, but or just how God made me look. So this is literally how I looked on the left at age 43, and this is literally on the right later that year at age 43. <clears throat> I'm trying to zoom in. I'm trying to zoom in on it, because like, you might as well do an extreme close-up if it really looks that way. That's how you really look. You know, I don't know. That's how I used to think. You just had to look that way or not. And I thought I just didn't look that way and everyone else looked normal and I thought I was the one who had the problems. I just didn't get it. I was too, like, self-centered or something. Like, the guy on the right looks 40s, early 40s. The guy on the left looks like, you know, the me, uh, the guy on the left looks like 20... Four, twenty-three or twenty, twenty-four, actually twenty-four or twenty-eight or thirty-two, in really good younger shape, something like that in the left. And the guy in the right said forty-three guys, forty-four, forty-three, forty-four, something like that. Like are you trying to still look cool and young? <laughs> I'm still young and nice. I'm nice and good. Got a little fat on the chin. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. It looks like a scar. It showed a scar more on my chin. And this one, it doesn't show it at all. It just looks like it blends in with the... Like, I got so healthy feeling that it just looks like it's another part of, like, however the hair grew. Because I felt so good about the way it looked. And this one, it looks like there's a little scar because I wasn't feeling as good. Um, and my eyes look like older and fatter under my eyes because there's more fat on my face and my, my chin was fatter and was more stressed out oh you guys <laughs> oh you guys <laughs> oh no it's not that bad <sighs> but it's not that bad this is me like cleaned up my best feeling ever after I'd just been through all that stressful stuff of having to work in the house no matter how I felt <clears throat> for two weeks like every day cleaning every tiny speck of something that got in the air off every piece of the house and in the vents I had to make sure the vents were okay and everything about the house was okay it was so stressful I thought I'd die I was, my depression came back I didn't know what to do the videos hadn't had gotten there after about six months or eight months eight, eight, I, I don't know how long I worked on eight months working on videos after I worked in the house before that for eight months 12 hours a day and, and I thought like it was just so and, and all that stuff happened to me and it was like that's that's what happened to me from trying to be okay just I don't know why and like look at this picture I look really good you know who saw it me <laughs> and people who watch my videos there's no one to interact with in real life to enjoy looking good I didn't get to be with a woman no woman to love me or appreciate me for how I looked until this happened on the right and it's 44 now so it's not really uh, anymore and, and um, <laughs> that was the same year this was earlier in the year on the left that's me on the right <clears throat> Bit bigger head fatter pretty much stuff like that but it's not that bad. I'm grateful for what I have. Because some people would act really cool with the guy on the right. It just for me, it didn't feel as good. I don't know why. But I was feeling pretty good because I didn't. I got the house already, and then like, I must have taken a shower and took some pictures. I thought I looked good again. And this is <laughs> that's that that's how I look compared to that one in the same year. That was later in the same year. 2020. <clears throat> I guess you just do God's work. You do God's work and don't sin. Because the sin must have caused it. Maybe I lusted on the computer or who knows what. Or who knows why. I didn't do, I don't know why. And then it just got like older looking from one picture to the next in the same year. Both on Photoshop. Both got all ready to take pictures. <clears throat> I guess that's when I started making my hair blonder for some reason. I don't know why. 
like even the wrinkle there are a little bit of wrinkles in my head from how I felt I didn't feel as good and this one I had none I think I think I had none I don't know it's a little bit out of focus I wonder if my teeth it, it's a miracle I worked really hard at my teeth but I haven't been able to say anything about it and did God's work with it, it was kind to others cried about others whose teeth fell out and stuff Hey guys, feeling pretty good again. This is the best I can look right now. Hey guys, <laughs> hey, there's me in the left and on the right, the same angle too. This is in the same year, I think. The same year, yeah. This is later in the year. It looks like ten years different, or fifteen years later. The same year. It was about ten years different. I don't know, or 12, I don't know. Danica, obsessed with Danica, guys, I'm a nerd. <laughs> obsessed with Danica, pretend she's, I, I don't know, just nerdy. This one actually looked kind of cool. I pulled off a cool looking one when I was heavier. <laughs> I look, I looked kind of cool. I don't know how, but if you just look at my face, it's like the difference between this is the same year. This is the same year. This is later in the same year. Looks about 10 years different. This is both of them was looking the best I was able to look. I barely brushed my teeth. One looks considerably older. The one in the right looks 40s, early 40s. 40s, 44, about 44. It was right before I turned 44. <laughs> the one on the left was 43, the same, the same year after I got to really hard, hard at my health, which was easier because after working really hard in the house for so long, I, I just didn't have to. For some reason, I got to look and feel better and work on looking better and God had me look that way in the left and then the same year I looked much older on the right <clears throat> they look about 28 in the left and like 44 in the right and it's the same year <clears throat> like you can see like here like it looks like that's permanent. That stuff's not permanent. It can go away. I don't have it now. I don't want to show myself now, but I don't have that. That was just, that was how feeling bad made me look. And this one, I didn't have any of it. I didn't have any of it in this one. On the left. On the right, it looks like older. In the same year. I wonder if that looks any different. It's hard to tell. I didn't look as fat, at least, in this one. It was just, like, something about my eyes that did that. I don't know why. Maybe I had been, like... some sin, The sin causes us to, like, not look as good or not feel as good. But some people think that this looks good and feels good, so they don't even care, and it doesn't bother them that much because they think, oh, that looks good and feels good. They don't. It doesn't bother them or make them feel bad. And if they look that way, they just they wouldn't even care or think about any of that stuff, like under the eyes and stuff. But for some reason, I noticed it later. But when I took the pictures, I probably thought, "Hey, it looks pretty good." <laughs> I probably didn't even know, or something, but no, I I knew. I didn't show these to anyone. But I got all ready, and I was thinking it looks good. But I kind of noticed like I had gotten heavier. Because it was so stressful what I was going through. 
I thought I was going to lose my house or something and had to work on the house no matter how I felt again after I'd worked on it eight months, 12 hours a day to get it worth more. And then I had to do this, this really awful thing came up, but now I wouldn't worry about it. God does all of it. It just happened to be that way at the time. And I made it through somehow, and that's how I ended up looking when I got all ready and cleaned up after, or not cleaned up, but I wore a mask, so it was some insulation. It was just some insulation that that got like in the house and it, it it doesn't do anything. Insulation doesn't do anything. It um you need the only way it can hurt anyone is through way long term exposure, like living right around it for like many years or so. And it, it doesn't it doesn't do any damage. But I could feel it, and it was affecting my breathing again. And I was so worried, and I had to just work in the house and get every tiny piece of it off off every inch of everything in the house. It was so much work for two two weeks, and I didn't know if I'd be able to do it or not. I, I couldn't hire anyone else to do it. They wouldn't have done a good enough job, and I had to just do it. And um, I thought I was gonna die. I thought I might lose everything. I didn't know I didn't know what was gonna happen. I thought I might be in the streets because it had happened, and I had to work in the house no matter how I felt and do do all the work after I'd worked eight months on the videos making some of my best videos like the um my best filming and editing I did really good editing good quality work in 2020 and then at the end of it I had to get to work again in the house to not lose all the work that I had done for the eight months 12 hours a day and, and, and years before that working in the house and my the only money I had was in the house and so but it's not really a worry. Like, my dad knows that stuff just doesn't happen. Um, there's a way to fix it and, and work in the house, and it's insured if it, if it was that bad. I think that God can take away everything at any moment. We don't really know. No matter how hard we had to work, um, God can take away the money from people like he did to, um, I think, Solomon in the Bible. I think that's his name, Solomon. Uh, he's somebody else. <laughs> the Bible took away a rich man's money and leprosy. The devil gave him leprosy. He had everything. <laughs> and I don't want to think about any of that crap. Probably not going to happen, but I've, I've gone through some... Well... My wife and children were taken away from me. That's caused the, that's caused the the worst of all of it. <clears throat> no man's leprosy. No man's leprosy. <laughs> I don't. Know. No man. No man. No man. I don't know. So I'm gonna go. Hey guys, I'm 44, look like a lesbian. I got blonde hair, trying to look cool. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Hey guys, 44. This one, I, I look, I look in better shape than this right now, but I can't show it. I like my face doesn't look as old there for some reason. I got, I got better looking, but I don't know how I'm gonna look. We're gonna age, and uh, like when I'm 58, I'm probably gonna look older than that. And there's nothing to be. I may look way older again. I like guess the years have gone by, sometimes I've looked way older or fatter than ever. And then I've gotten back to like looking really good again, like in this kind of shape. Like I've been able to get kind of like the really good looking one again, sometimes at least, but um, or but I look pretty normal now, so I don't know. I'm gonna go, hey guys, I'm Elizabeth. <laughs> I don't know. I better turn it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Praise God, praise Jesus. I'm gonna stop looking at myself. Okay.